we go. The fight starts off here on Top Rank Boxing on ESPN. So happy that you can join us this evening. I'm Bernardo Osuna alongside former world champions Timothy Bradley and Andre Ward. This is round one of a scheduled eight rounder from Mexico City. You see our broadcast partners from TV Azteca calling the fight from behind. They've got plexiglass between them. The judges for this fight card are actually in an adjacent studio watching the fights uh, remotely and listening in to the natural sounds as to not be affected by the commentary. There you see our colleagues from TV Azteca. Palomares in the blue trunks trimmed in the neon green. Armando Garcia in the blue trunks trimmed in gold. You know, right now, both guys just getting to feel it. It's almost like a fill out round for both guys. You know, they're really young in their careers at, at this moment. Right now, you see Garcia trying to establish the jab. He's looking for the right hand. That's what he wants to land against Palomares is the right hand over his jab. And fellas, I have to comment on the size of the ring. Armando Garcia I don't know what the exact has a size is, but this is a small ring here tonight. So after these guys feel the, feel the, you know, feel their way out and kind of get their range and understand what they want to do, it's got to be some action tonight with the size of this ring. I think that's why they set it up that way with a fighter like Emmanuel Navarrete in there. Next week, we're going to have Miguel Verchet, the 130-pound champion in action as well from Mexico City. He will be traveling in on Monday after taking his COVID test in Hermosillo where he does his training camp. So he's coming in. And uh, imagine what this type of ring will do for, Emma, for Miguel Verchet and Emmanuel Navarrete. We're going to see a ton of action tonight and next Saturday. Nice check hook there by... Armando Garcia as Palomares overcommits. See young fighters out there. You see like these guys here, they posing in front of each other. You know, no one's really taking control. In these moments, you want to control the space with the jab. Control the space with the jab. And that's how you were able to win rounds, by controlling that space. Nice left hook there from the man in blue and Neon green as round one comes to a close. Yeah. Ward coming to you from Mexico City with the return of boxing. We have our bubble in Las Vegas. They also have their bubble in Mexico City with Armando Garcia, Ivan Armando Garcia with the black trucks trimmed in gold, taking on Roberto Palomares, one of the fighting cousins, wearing blue with green trim. Nice check hook there from Ivan Armando Garcia. Cup Palomares coming in. That's something we've seen early on in this fight. Palomares really opens up trying to get that offense going. Yeah, you're right, Bernardo. Both guys are really opening up, but it just seems like Palomares is, is throwing a little shorter in there, and he's able to catch Garcia in between. Yeah, both fighters are starting to wake up in this second round. To your point, Tim, they had a filling out round in the first round, really just trying to see what the other fighter was bringing to the table. And I think they're slowly starting to warm up right now. And Garcia with the shorter, sharper punches and Palomares with those looping shots, both trying to generate power. Not a lot of knockouts, four between them in 15 professional fights coming into this fight, but a nice uppercut there from Palomares in the blue trunks. And there he check hooks with the left again as Armando Garcia gets caught coming in. You know what happens is, is Garcia, he steps back just like as he did there. And he drops his hands when he steps back. So Palomares, if he follows him out, he'll be able to catch him. Double jab right hand, right on the money. He just tried it right there and you saw Garcia get out of the way of that shot. Garcia's trying to work the body here. 
as one minute remains in round number two of a scheduled eight rounder and a shot to the back of the head from Palomares gets a complaint from Garcia. Tim, it might be hard for Palomares to follow Garcia out because just like that, when they're in exchanges, Palomares ducks his head. So he can't see what he's hitting at a certain point. So him hitting Garcia on the way out may be a little difficult if he can't even keep his eyes locked in on the target. It's called blind faith. <laughs> it's just saying he's swinging at the target. That's what it's called. <laughs> it doesn't matter. He don't even he's at he's the don't air. have to look at the target. <laughs> There's you go with a referee cam. You get a different perspective as round two is about to hear the bell. This is a scheduled eight rounder coming to you from Mexico City. Top rank boxing on ESPN. This is Bernardo Osuna alongside Timothy Bradley, Andre Ward, and Mark Kriegel. Fights from Mexico City. The return of boxing to the Mexican capital. Low blow warning there from the referee to Palomares. They call him duro, that means hard, that means tough. And so far he's, he's proving that against Armando Garcia, as you see once again, that referee camp, our colleagues from Fox Azteca, the five little plexiglass divisions keeping them from one another. Cause you know, Tim spits when he's calling the fight. So he's, that I imagine they do the same. <laughs> <laughs> Say it, don't spray it, Timmy. You know what? It's all good. You know, at this level, these guys are really learning the craft. You know, they're still trying to get familiar with the ring. And also, the ranges, you know, shorten their punches up when they get inside. There's a lot of things that these guys need to pick up, you know, on the way up. The ESPYs tomorrow night, and just like everything else, it's going to be a different type of broadcast, but we invite you to join us for the ESPYs tomorrow evening. This is one of those fights that are really just hard to, to score if you're a judge because they're evenly matched, the fighters, but they, they're fighting, you know, in unison. They'll take a break. They have an exchange. It's kind of hard to tell who dominated the exchange, and then they'll break again, and then they'll have another exchange. Really, really difficult fight to score. Armando Garcia pressuring right now, getting the better of the longer Palomares here in the third round. He seemed to warm up after a slow start. Nice right hand there from Armando Garcia as he follows up and just looking to get the best of Palomares in round three. But each time a fighter lands a good shot, Bernardo, the, 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 the fighter will allow the other fighter to steal the play, just like Palomares just did right there. Neither guy much on defense so far, Dre. I mean, these guys want to attack consistently. Once again, you see Armando Garcia on the attack, and he doesn't move out of the way of a Palomares left hook. You know, both, both guys are rushing things when they get in close. They got to slow it down a bit. Yeah, they just in there fighting. That's all they doing. That's all they doing, Bernardo. They just in there fighting. You know, I'm looking for some skills. I'm looking for them to use their jab and be clean with it. Be a complete professional. Back here with round four of what was supposed to be an eight round fight, but now it's been changed to a six round fight due to time constraints in Mexico City. So Armando Garcia and Roberto Palomares will have to speed things up now. I don't know if that's ever happened to, to you guys in terms of having a fight change from a certain rounds to another one, but that's got to change your approach. No, sir, it's never happened to me, and I wouldn't be happy about it, Bernardo. <laughs> hey, I, I'll be happy about hey, it. It never happened to me. I'll be paid for six. Hey, it, it never happened to me either, <laughs> but I'm just saying that, hey, I get the same pay to go less rounds. Hey, sign me up. What do they say? 
You don't get paid overtime. Well, neither do these guys. They get paid full time for six rounds instead of eight. So now they've got to get to work. And you see Palomares stepping and in. And all I was saying a round ago, Bernardo, yeah, with these two fighters is, you know, they are who they are. They're at the stage that they're at in their career. I'm not looking for a Floyd Mayweather type of performance, but somebody's got to create some distance. If you're going to slug and if you're going to be an offensive fighter, you got to be more off offensive than your opponent so the judges can clearly see that you're winning the fight. What I clearly see here is the cameraman being ringside in what appears to be almost a hazmat suit. And here we have the doctor stepping yeah. up, very well protected. Might be a haircut. And there's a cut over the left eye, it appears. Un choque accidental. Ooh, and that was an accidental headbutt. They don't have Stitch Duran and Mike Basil working cuts out there in Mexico City for sure. Seems that the doctor will be working the cuts. Do you want that? Mark, how you doing? You know, these are two young these are two young guys, one of whom has an undefeated record. Six rounds or eight rounds. You don't want to look back on this on your career when you're at the grand old age of say 30 and say if I only had two more rounds to get going, you better get going now. Garcia seems to be I think they heard you know that cut over his left eye. Nice right hand from Palomares. Palomares Sometimes looking to land at blood. that left eye of Garcia. Yeah, but for Garcia, it looks like his own cut, his own blood has woken him up. He's, he's a lot more aggressive, and he's, you know, more aggressive than I've seen him this whole fight. Working the body, working to the head. He got angry. Trying to take things into his own hands. And I think we're starting to, and I think we're starting to see a little bit of separation here, Dre, because of that cut. Here is finish here to round number four of a scheduled six round fight. <laughs> Bernardo Osuna, Timothy Bradley, Andre Ward, and Mark Kriegel. Top ranked boxing on ESPN, emanating from another bubble, the one in Mexico City, where Armando Garcia and the black trunks trimmed in gold takes on. Roberto Palomares, good exchange here at the beginning of round number five. Marre. Remind you that uh, Garcia can Armando make this Garcia fight easy. Suffered a cut over his left eye. Yeah, what I was saying, Bernardo, was is that Garcia can make this fight a lot easier if he comes behind the jab and set up his combinations. You know, he's sitting right in front right now, and then you're going to see him explode with a couple of combinations or a couple of punches, but then you see Palomares, he swings right back. Set him up with the jab and blind him, follow up with your combinations, and then get some defense afterwards, and it'll be a lot easier for him. Nice counter there from Palomares as he catches Armando Garcia. Stepping in, the undefeated fighter Garcia from Mexico City fighting at home. As is Roberto Palomares. But Palomares is in a, the 11th professional fight of his career. He's got four losses, a draw, and five wins. But Garcia's got his work cut out for him tonight. Yeah, I just don't think Garcia's a come behind your jab type of fighter. And that's fine, but whoever you are, you need to be the best version of yourself tonight like Mark Kriegel said, because this is an opportunity. Garcia has the donut. He has the O at the end of his record. Um, and he's got to step it up the way that he did after he saw that he was cut. It's a discussion we've had over the last uh, few weeks about the importance of protecting that O for some. It's 
overbearing. It's it's a bear, a cross that they bear, and for some, it's just something that means everything to them. Like Floyd Mayweather Jr., it's his identity. It's what he lived for as a fighter. And uh, Armando Garcia would do well to to maybe get that sense of urgency here in round number five of a scheduled six rounder. Yeah, referee wearing a mask. Not only that, the harness that holds a camera that gives us a whole different perspective and point of view. As round five is about to come to an end, and Palomar is landing a solid right hand on the face of Inevan Armando Garcia in Mexico City. Back to the sixth round in Mexico City. Ivan Armando Garcia, the red quarter, wearing black trunks, trimmed in gold, taking on Roberto Palomares with the blue trunks and the fluorescent green. This is the sixth and final round, and Armando Garcia has his undefeated record on the line. It's a small ring here at uh, Azteca Studios, but so far, see the guys really made use of it. And you see Palomares on the attack. Roberto Palomares cousin. Palomares is needing to let his hands later go. Later on in the co-main event. I just feel that just both guys are just waiting a little bit too long. You know? The other guy won't start until the other guy starts. Starts punching him. You know, no one's really in control of this fight right now. Check left hook from Armando Garcia. Palomares overcommits. That was one of your scouting reports, Tim, that Palomares tends to overcommit. That's exactly what Garcia took advantage of there. Yes, it is. Both these guys sometimes overcommit, Bernardo. You know, that's something that they can go back and work on in the gym. You know, they got to get the distance down. That's a that's a, that's a a hard thing to learn is distance. Where you are, see how close he is now? You got to shorten your punches. Especially when you get in that position. I think both fighters are evenly matched, like I said earlier, but I do think that Garcia has the slight edge and this is really his fight to lose. I feel like he could have done a lot more of what we see right here if he would have just trusted his ability and, and just stayed aggressive. Smart, but stayed aggressive. He just hasn't consistently done that tonight. Especially against a guy who's not a big puncher. Roberto Palomares only has one knockout in 10 professional fights, five of those victories. He's been stopped twice, so uh, he's vulnerable, but he didn't show much of that tonight. No, he didn't. Palomares. Palomares got heart. Yeah, he got heart. And he's fighting back, and, and he's getting Garcia's attention. But I'm not going to lie. If I saw a fighter with 10 fights with one knockout, I'm going straight to him, and I'm a bully him. Final floor is here in the final round in Mexico City, and we will see if Ivan Armando Garcia was able to preserve his O, or if Roberto Palomares has pulled off the upset here on Top Rank Boxing on ESPN. Garcia or Roberto Palomares. Here's the decision. Damas y caballeros, señoras y señores, la casa del boxeo anuncia el resultado oficial de esta pelea. La señora Patricia Flores ha marcado 59 a 55. El señor Rafael Saldaña deje su tarjeta 59 a 55. El señor Abraham Ibarra 59 a 56. En favor del ganador y a un invicto, Iván El Tsunami García. So Ivan Garcia comes away with the victory. He wasn't the